So the last thing we want to do is we want to make four flames, of course, and um, we also want the flames to deal damage. So what do we do? We go into this flame thingy, what represents your enemy attack, and if player touches it, we could change the HP, but I don't know where, ah, where we go. So it's a special attack, so what, I don't know, we, first we did like 50, now we can do like 100, because it's, you must be really dumb to get hit by those, I guess. <laughs> So entire party, I don't care. A lot knockout is ah decrease, decrease, don't increase. Alright, decrease your HP. And the important thing here is Yeah we could uh, wait, but that would be uh, kinda weird. Mmm <laughs> The problem th with this is, if we step on it, it will permanently decrease 100 HP. So what we can do here is... I don't know if it's good to wait here, because it's on player touch. Well, let's see if we can do something if we hit it. So we basically test it out now. I'm not sure I haven't done this in a while. So now let's check. So there is... There's the flame. And there it goes. We need to wait for another... Oh, and where? Oh, so it's instant game over. How much HP do we got? 450. So, and th this is what I mean. So, we have 450 HP, but we instantly die, even though we only decreased it by 100. And this is happening because it just repeats itself so fast that we can't. Yeah can do anything. So we need to wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait for 40 frames like this. I don't know if this is working. I'm not sure if I, uh, if we can move now if we hit the flames. So let's test it out. And here we go. Come on, give me a flame. Oh, I get st oh, I got stuck. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm too far, oh, yeah, I'm too far away. <laughs> oh, good boy. So there it is. So it made damage. 250. Still... Yeah, it's hard to test right now, because I pretty much... So it always decreases by 200. So this is basically working two times. Um, yes, let's see. I'm not sure. I'm pretty not. I'm not uh, um, happy with this. How this is going. Alright, so how much damage? Oh, we, we took the amount that we wanted to get. But can we move if this flame... Yeah, we can. Alright. So this is this is a good solution for this. So, and now we can do... Um, so, 100 HP. We could also do a 
better. Or we could um, make it visible that you got hit and not like I was. Uh, let's see how we need to we need to um tin screen tin player um set movement route change 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 ah um, uh, yeah I'm not actually sure how I did this before and so I have to look this up again so if I touch this, show animation, player bullet hit, ah, alright. <laughs> so this was an easy one. Yeah, here it, here it was. So... Show animation, this is what I was looking for. So the player gets flashed, so we did this thing here like a while ago, where it is, must be this, 121, no, 122, bullet hit, um, wait for completion, no, we don't need this, I guess, yeah, we can try it now, and I hope it will work, you can It's always good to make it visible for the player that there is something that damaged him. So it damaged me and voila. Alright, and now we need to set up the other flame thingies. So this is, we could also add comments, so we could add Comments? Are there comments in this program? Comment. Um, flame right. So this is flame right. Flame up. What do we need to add? Flame left. And flame down. So now we got this. I like to cut it out and do it this way. So we have, um, yeah, counterclockwise movement. So flame right, flame up, flame left, flame down. All right. And now we need to set it for flame. Actually, we f before we can set this up, we need to set a few more flames. So copy this, paste it, give it another name, enemy attack 2, enemy attack 3, and enemy attack 4. So now we have all the 4 directions. I would... Um, I think enemy attack right. I think we should name them like we want them to. Right, up, left, and down. <laughs> Right, up, left, down, so like this. And now we have the names for this and we can work better. So we take an, our, our enemy event attack handler and yeah. We already did it for the flame to the right and now we can copy this whole thing and add it here. So up, what? So now we need to think of what is happening when our flame is up. So it must be on this tile here. So again, you see the enemy is on 11.6. What does need to happen? So the flame is always on top. So you see the Y value decreases if it goes 
one up so you need to decrease it by one so yeah y minus one so this is all you need to know so we go again here you have flame x and y it's the same and now you need to change flame y and subtract one no? so this is six and one above is five so we need to subtract one what we did now we yeah we could also yeah just copy paste it again oh. yeah okay this was right so now left what happens if we are left from the bed so 11 6 so it's 10 6 so the x coordinate gets minus 1 uh, flame x minus 1 and what what's left is what you do for down so what happens if it's down just to explain it again 11.6 you go one down 11.7 so you know x and y so the y coordinate gets increased by one and this is what we do here now so we take the y coordinate of a flame and add one so now we have all the flames set up they all spawn immediately mm, you need to spawn every every event itself so what you can do to make it more um, where is my recorder? I don't know what happening all right so it goes on now um so okay we want to have a right order so we cut this and paste it here so now you have it on the flame right thingy you copy this one you can paste it here and now you need to set it for the so you see it's flame up and so we need to enemy attack up so and you do the same for the other events so left we need a new set event location and we set the enemy attack left to this and last but not least you do it for flame down so use enemy attack down so you could also call this one the enemy attacks you could call it flame so you don't get confused but this is okay now so we have every flame set up and this should be already it I think we have a little battle system with special attacks from the enemy every four seconds now so let's see and boop uh, the thing is we should set maybe the flames to below hero because you see whenever <laughs> the bat summons his special text or maybe it's okay like that so you say if he's doing a special attack we can't move but normally you could just simply set the flames to below hero and change them a bit up so player touch would be still okay so you simply could say below hero you use every of this event and set it to below hero or below characters and I think now the bat is also not uh, stuck in her own attack let's try it wait for seconds and yeah, it's still stuck but I don't know why but I will 
I will check this. Mm. I can't. Oh, the heck. You could also. An easier method would be what we did already more than enough. It's set it to through and set it to same as characters again. So you could leave it to same as characters but set it to through. And I think this should be should be working then. Alright, so now start it. And now we see enemy attacks and moving, please. Yes, it does. You could still set it to below enemy, so use its action. Ah, I don't even care. Like you want to. And this is easy extendable, the system. You could just copy one of them. And if you want it to be on this position, so you have this positions covered, you could also do on those corners. You could also make new flames on these corners. All you need to do is... So it, get, it gets a bit trickier for the corners, so you see the differences in the um, coordinates are it's 11.6 now and here is 12.5 so you need to if you for example want to spawn a flame here you need to add one on the x position and subtract one on the y position and then you get this position yeah but I don't want to talk anymore it's long enough and thank you for watching and have fun with this little system <laughs>